Hello guys, welcome back to Ingenious Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that cable AC exerts on beam AB a force P directed along line AC. So it is said that a force P is exerted on this beam AB and that force is acting along this AC line. And further it is said that knowing that P must have a 350 pound vertical component. So the vertical component magnitude is given which is 350. Determine the magnitude of the force P and its horizontal component. We are given this force P which is acting along this AC line. And this is that force P and its vertical component magnitude is given. This is the vertical component and let's say this is P vertical and its magnitude is 350 pounds and we are required to find the magnitude of this force P and we are required to find the magnitude of the horizontal component so this will be the horizontal component so let's say this is PH so this is required now we are given uh, here that this rope is making 55 degree angle with the vertical so if this angle is 55 degrees then this angle is also 55 degrees since this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angles so now we can say that um, this angle is also 55 degrees so now we are given that uh, the force p is acting like this making uh, 55 degrees with the vertical so let's say that um, this is that force p which is making 55 degrees with the vertical and its um, vertical component magnitude is given so this is the vertical component like this this is p vertical and it is uh, 350 pounds and this is the horizontal component so P horizontal magnitude is required and this is P magnitude is also required. So now as we know that uh, the vector sum of uh, this PV since PV and PH these are the components of this force P. So by head to tail rule if we add them they will give us this force P. So this PV plus PH will give us P. So now we can we can move uh, this PH to here as well so so the sum of both of these will give us that p vector so now we can say that um, this pv and ph both are the vertical uh, both are the rectangular components of this force p and this force p is making 55 degree with the vertical component so now is we know that the component the component which is attached to the angle is always the cost component or we can say that the component which is adjacent to the angle is always the cost component so now we can say that uh, pv is equal to p cos of 55 degrees since this pv is adjacent to this angle or in other words if we apply uh, the cos of 55 degrees to this right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle. And if we apply cos of 55 degrees, so we can say that cos of 55 degrees will be the base divided by hypotenuse. So this is the base. PV is the B base and the hypotenuse is P. So we can write that this is uh, PV is the base and P is the hypotenuse. So from this we can say that PV is p cos of 55 so now you you people can see that why i'm saying that the component the component which is which is attached to the angle is always the cos component so now pv is the cos component now we are given pv magnitude the pv magnitude is 350 so we can say that this is 350 equals to p cos of 55 degrees so now we are required to find the p magnitude which is p that will be equal to 350 divided by cos of 55 so 350 divided by cos of 55 so this gives us 610 approximately so the p magnitude is approximately 610 pounds 
So this is the answer for part A. This is the solution for part A. Now we are required to find the horizontal component. So again, if we apply the sine of the angle to that right angle triangle, if we apply the sine of 55 degrees to this right angle triangle. So again, uh, we will have a sine of 55 degrees and that will be perpendicular. So perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So now the side which is opposite to the angle is always perpendicular. So this is the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse. So the perpendicular is um, this P horizontal. So P horizontal divided by the hypotenuse which is force P itself. So now P horizontal is P sine of 55 degrees. Now, now as I have said that the component which is attached to the angle is the cos component. So PV is the cos component. So PH which is not adjacent to the angle is always the sine component. So or we can say that the component which is not attached to the given angle is always the sine component. So we can say that PH is the sine component. So now I will write that PH is P sine of 55 degrees so now ph is now p magnitude is known which is 610 sine of 55 degrees so 610 sine of 55 this gives us approximately ph approximately equal to 500 pounds so this is the solution of uh, this particular problem from uh, Vector Mechanics by Bear and Johnston, Chapter 2. Let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more problem solutions.